So what I want to discuss now is yung paano tayo mag time series. Okay. So nine muna natin itong uh, graphics. Okay. Okay. So makita ba? So meron tayong ditong ang use ang gagamitin nating package is yung package sa book which is FTP2. So I think merong FTP3. So depende kung anong edition yung ginamit but I actually share the edition that uses FTP2. Okay? So once you have that open na lang ko na. Okay. So ito I open uh, R Studio ang gagamitin natin. Then, alam nyo naman siguro, if you want to create a R script, okay, so mag-file of file, new file, check R script. But if you want to prepare reports such as the one I've shown you, ito, this is actually created using R Markdown. So, pag, pag mas maganda kasi ang R Markdown dahil yung code niya, uh, hindi siya mag-render ang document na ito when your code is not running. Kung may error sa code, hindi nyo siya ma-run. Uh, hindi ma-generate ang document. So siguro sa inyong final report, it, it would be nice if you can use uh, R Markdown na lang. Okay? And then render it as a PDF file or as a HTML file. Okay? So ito yan, naka-highlight na yung mga codes. Yan, and then the results are shown in that document. Okay? So, yan na lang ang gagamitin natin para hindi na kayo mag... Doon na rin yung report, doon na rin yung codes. Okay? Okay, so let's try to uh, have a uh, short tutorial on how to do uh, graphics in R. Okay? Kita ba yung aking ano, R... Um, R na ano, R Studio. Kita, no? Okay. So, ang una is, of course, try to import the library FTP2. Okay. Okay. So, wala pala siya dito. Hindi. Hindi pala na, no? So, we will need to um, install it. Okay. Install packages FTP2. So that's how you install. You just write install packages and then FTP2. Okay, and then once you have that, then you can load the library. Okay, so paano ngayon tayo analyze ng time series R? So ang R, di ba meron siyang objects? Uh, I mean, all all things na na-create nyo kay R are actually objects. Okay? So, kasi R is object-oriented kasi ito na language. So, uh, so with the time series, meron kasi marami na the time series, di ba, na may statisticians. And R is actually used commonly by statisticians. So, merong sariling object that deals, that deals with time series sa R. Ang tawag dyan is yung TS object. So, pwede natin i-specify that this array or this vector is a time series by, say, by saying to R that this is a time series. So, paano siya gagawin? So, for example, if we have this data, and 2016, 1110. So, yan ay very, ano lang siya, very small lang siya na time series. So, from 2012 to 2016, so 1 to 123, 39, dami lang to siya. So, how do you declare this as a time series in R? So, ang gagawin niyo lang is, of course, you assign this a name. So, itong Y. And then, TS stands for time series and then put that in a vector yung mga values then you have to specify the start okay so 
paano natin malaman itong mga kung ano to siya no kung ano yung mga arguments niya of course you can just uh, look at the help docs so question mark is yes. okay so this are time series object so makikita niyo dito sa inyong r r studio dito sa right hand side kung mag kung basahin niyo yung mga help docs niya so just write to show this just type question mark ts Magkikita niyo dito kung ano yung mga arguments. So ano tong or additional information about this function, okay? So TS na function. So data, okay? So ito yung data na ipo-provide natin. So ganyan yan siya, but you can also just write it as without data equal kasi understood na siya na ang first niya is data. Start, then end and then frequency. Yan yung tat apat na arguments na dapat nating isa puso isa easy di ba so start dito nakalagay is one but you can also read here no yung arguments kung ano dapat yung form format okay so ano ba dapat ang data so a data here can be a vector or a matrix so itong na provide natin is a vector you can also provide a matrix so later we will show kung paano natin Anong mga cases na matrix yung ipagbabayad? And then the start is the time of the first observation. So ano yung time ng first observation? So it's either a single number or a vector of two numbers, the second of which is an integer, which specify a natural time unit and a number of samples in the time unit. So ito actually yung two numbers. Yan yung gagamitin natin or vector of two numbers, kung ang ating input ay matrix. Okay? Usual. Pero pwede na rin siyang gamitin as a vector. Depende kasi kung how, how, how long your time series is. No? So in that case, pwede na natin siyang start equals 2012. And this function is medyo intelligent siya na pag sinabi natin 2012, siya na bahala mag-increment ng time. Okay? So, type lang natin dyan ang in. You, of course, the default is frequency equals 1. Di natin siya baguhin. Okay? Kasi, we want it to be incremented yearly. If we want it to be incremented twice a year, then we have to change this frequency. Okay? So, now we can run this. Our Y now is actually a time series. So kung ipiprint natin ang y, ano ba yung nasa loob ni y? So this is a check that y is a time series that starts in 2012 and 2016 and frequency 1. It means that it's year siya, year per year. Okay? Or pwede din natin just a quick one. Pwede natin sabihin what is class, the class of it. And then it's a class, it's an object of class. TS or time series. Okay? Now, how about in the case na, sir, hindi naman lahat ng mga data is ano, uh, yearly. No? It could be na monthly siya. So, how, so, we need to modify one of these arguments no? to reflect na yung data natin ay hindi siya yearly but monthly yung frequency. So, how do we do that? So, for example, if we have this, Point six. Kasi pis na na ako dito kaya pwede mo type. Okay. So this means that so yung time series data natin starts with 1994. But since data is not yearly but monthly, then you have to change the frequency. Okay. So how many how many months in a year? There are twelve months. So that's why you put. To twelve, so if you run that, and then sabi natin print y, then you have now time series January, February, December, and that's actually month starting with nineteen ninety four. Okay, okay. As a short exercise, what will we do? In order to make this time series 
na ang kanyang frequency is quarterly. Paano ang gagawin natin? Ano ang babaguhin natin dyan? Para magiging quarterly siya instead of monthly. Yes, sinong gustong sumagot? Si Josephine. Josephine. Sige. Yes, sir. O, ano ang gagawin natin dito sa code? Para instead of monthly, magiging quarterly siya. So, four times a year. Ano lang po, sir? Ang... Nabi ko na. Uh -huh. Kuhal, una lang na data is every every three months like January, tapos April. Uh, yes. So, paano sir, tapos, yan dito? Ano po, sir? Uh, ano lang po? 7.6, 11.5, 18.5, tapos... No, no, no. What I mean is, ito siya I, is quarterly. So, it means na January ito, 7.6. Okay. Tapos yung uh, January, March. Ang April is 7.1. Ganun. Kasi kanina, per month. So ito yung January 1994, yes, February 1994. So pag quarter di siya, ito na yung January 1994. Ito na yung April 1994. Ah. Ganyan. Okay. Kasi di ba ang frequency niya is quarter. So itong question lang is, ano ang babaguhin natin sa code na to such that yung time series natin, ang frequency niya ay quarterly instead of monthly. So this one represents a quarterly observations instead of monthly. It change of frequency to 4. Yes, very good. So gagawin lang natin 4. Very good. Yeah? So kung ipiprint mo yan, quarter na siya. Yeah? Tama dito? Good, very good. Kisay nag ano? Kisay nag quotes. Wala pa nag quotes. Okay, good. Okay, thank you, thank you, Jusepin. Um, sa dawagin natin si Sherry A. Plaza, Plaza. Sir. Plaza. Okay, ano nga gawin natin para magiging weekly? Ano? Weekly? Oh. Wait Mag lang, sir. Calculator. Ay, tama ba? Pila oh. mag-a-wig sa naasin sa career? Uh, pap, pap, pap. Uh, four times. Pila ba? 48, sir? Ay, Kung kulang. Kulang? Hmm. Uh, five weeks a month. Malik, 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 malik. Dili man kompleto na may usahay. Four weeks. Sixty. Nagana po doon. Hmm. Ah, okay. Iba na lang. Three, six, five divided by seven. Yes, sila man. Ah, fifty-two. Very good. Very good. So, iba ka natin fifty-two. Yeah? Yeah. So, to make it weekly, it's 52. Okay? Tama ba? Yes. Kaya lang, hindi nyo makomplete ng, ano, hindi niya makomplete ang one year kasi uh, hindi naman to siya. Ilang, kung, kung weekly to siya, so ilang weeks lang siya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, nasa ano lang siya? 17 weeks. Okay? So, that's how you change the time series depending kung ano yung frequency. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. So, that's how you would um, declare that. Okay. Now, let's go to the meat of the matter which is the how do we plot time series. Okay? Ang maganda dito sa FPP2, meron na siyang mga data. Okay? Time series data. So, ang usual na ginagamit is auto plot. 
Okay? Then we will type yung, uh, investigate muna natin yung data na Mel Sid. Okay? So that's Melbourne to Sydney. So ang ibig sabihin niya, yun yung mga flights from Melbourne to Sydney. So kung na natin, data. So we can now use data mill seed. Tignan natin siya. Okay. So ito yung ating, it's our time series data. Okay. That starts 1987, and then ends in 1987. Date. Okay, so this is actually the number of flights. Okay, na nangyari between this year. Okay, so since ito melsid na data natin ay per year siya, this should be interpreted not as a ano. Uh, 1987. No, it's not that way. But per year, ito. Okay? And this is measured in thousands. So number of passengers per thousands. Okay? So how do we plot this para maganda naman yung ating time series? So gagamitin natin function is autoplot. Itong autoplot is nandyan na siya sa FPP2. So I just provide the time series data. So if you're looking at the economy class, so ang concern na muna natin is economy class. Okay? Hindi muna tayo titingin sa first class at saka business class. Then plus, so this is how you would specify it using ggplot. Okay? Then ggplot, a gg title. Sydney plus, okay. Ito yung grammar ng ano, no? Tinatawag nilang grammar of the ggplot na pwede mo siyang i-connect-connect para modular ang mangyari. No? So first is provide the data, provide the title of the plot, then provide the label, the x-axis label. And then you can also provide the y-axis level. Okay? So once you have that, you can run it. And this is now your time series data. Okay? Kuha ba? So ano mapansin ninyo dito sa time series dito? Data dito. No? So just by looking at the, ano? You looking at the plot, you can see that there are some fluctuations. No? So meron mga time na mababa. So 1998 siya, ah, 1987 siya, Ama. and then to 1993. And then meron siya mga nagpa-fluctuate siya. Yan. But there is a time na baba, halos walang flight. No? Ano kaya to? Bakit siya walang flight? So that could be an interesting question. Kung kayo yung nagkikip track ng passenger, then you're looking at the historical data, there is a time between 1989 to 1990 na walang flight, nag-zero. Well, walang nag-economy. Wala nag-economy class. Then ito naman, uh, then after that, nakabawi sila, nag-increase, and then meron na naman sort of deep parang ganun. Tinan natin ang uh, first class kung meron naman pagbabago. Okay, so the same thing, no? Sa first class, yung year na yun, same with the economy, baka walang flight at 
Walang flight sa year na yan or sa month na yan. And then, yan, fluctuate siya. So, marami dito hindi nag-business class, ah, nag-first class. Okay? How about business class? Baguhin lang natin ito. Titinan natin. Okay, so hindi is, merong time na walang business class. Meaning, hindi pa siguro sila nag-offer ng, ng business class at that time. Start lang sila sa middle ng 1989. And same thing, we observe. Ito, merong, merong month na walang passenger. No? So most likely, this is a time na walang flight. Could be. No? Ano kaya ang dahilan bakit walang flight? Yun ang pwede natin i-ask. And then, nag-increase siya. And then, nagbaba. But you can observe na yung increase dito corresponds to decrease in the economic class. So, 1992-1993, kung balikan natin, since nag-decrease, no? biglang nag-decrease ang economic class, pero ang business class naman ay nag ang Okay, economy pa rin. But this, is the, this should be the business, no? Business pala ito. So this should be investigated as well. Bakit biglang nagtaas ang business class? Ang economy ay biglang nagbaba. So there's a, the lesson here is that there's a lot that we can see or we can observe if we look if we plot a time series. So yan yung lesson natin diyan. Na that 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 might not be apparent if we just look at the data. Okay? Okay, so question so far. Dapat ay question so far. Now, hindi lang ito, ito yung tinatawag nating time plot. Okay? So pag sinabi nating time plot, this is the plot of the observations against time. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng time plot. Okay? Kaya lang marami, hindi lang naman time plot ang pwede nating ma- of, hindi lang time plot ang pwede gamitin to to learn more about the time series. Okay? Meron din tayong tinatawag na seasonal plot. Okay? So ano tong seasonal plot? So ang idea ng seasonal plot is it looks at kung meron bang seasonality ang ating data, ang ating time series. Okay. So just to review, ano nga yung seasonality? No? Let's have Saturn. Saturn Yes. Ano nga yung seasonality? Hello, sir. Wala, nalain yung munti mo, burag robot. Hello, sir. Hinasinalan ang question, sir. Yes. So, what is uh, seasonal characteristics sa ano? sa time series. Anong anong ibig sabihin pag mayroong seasonality sa time series? Um so based sa pagkagets ko sir, may ano mayroong uh, ang graph niya kay Murag na adjust kanang seasons in which siya ang graph na mamalita kay ma-observe siya through individual I mean through seasons. <laughs> may season ang seasonality. Ha? So, paghatag daw yung example. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Sige, sige. No problem. So, pag may seasonality ating data, pag meron siyang uh, pinapakit, merong kumbaga pattern, no? merong pattern at certain point in time na regular. Huh? So for example, sabihin natin 
sa sales, no? Sa sales sa uh, let us say Shopee. Sa so Shopee, expected 'yan na mas mataas yung sale nila during December. Okay? Or mababa yung sale during February. Something like that. So, pag sinabi nating seasonality, meron siyang pattern na kumbaga nagre-repeat siya but at a regular interval, at regular time interval or at a certain frequency. So, kung makita natin for example na ang sale niya is every December nag-i-increase siya relative to other months, then that can be a sign of seasonality. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng uh, seasonality in layman's term. Okay? Patterns that repeats at regular interval of time, that pattern can be, can be increased or decreased. And that is an indication that we have a seasonality in our data. Okay. So let's let's look at the ano, let's look at a uh, time series na merong seasonality. Okay? Okay, tingnan natin itong plot muna natin itong diabetes data. Sana yung aking mga. Okay. Let's plot the diabetes data. Tingnan muna natin yung diabetes data. Yung diabetes natin data is 18. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a plot. Okay, and then let's lab time or month and then why lab is this. Okay. Okay. So nakita niya dito, this data actually exhibits seasonality. Bakit? Nagre-repeat siya. Kung baga, patanggalin mo itong part na to, ilipat mo dyan, mag-fit siya. Kung baga, the pattern. So na-observe niya na, yeah, for example, 1995, prior to the end of the year, nag increase ang sale. And then bumababa. Then slowly increasing hanggang sa peak and then bumababa. So itong pattern na it, itong pattern na ito that repeats at regular interval shows that our time series exhibits a characteristic or a behavior called seasonality. Okay? Yeah, so yun yung isa sa characteristic na titingnan natin sa ating time series. Kasi when we model this we need to take into account the seasonality kung gusto natin na i-model itong time series na ito. Siguro yung number of, another example no could be the number of people infected with the seasonal flu. Ah, and doon yung name, seasonal. So may mga year, or may mga months of the year na marami ang nagkakaroon ng, ng flu. So could be during the Rainy, rainy period. No? Maraming, titignan niyo yan sa data kung ano yung mga times na dumadami ang nagkakasakit ng seasonal flu. Okay? Then meron din time na wala masyadong nagkakasakit. Then that data could be exhibiting a seasonality. Yeah? Aside sa seasonality, ano pa ang ma-observe nyo dito na karakteristik ng ating time series data? Okay? Tingnan natin si Carmela. Carmela? Sir. Yes. Aside sa 
Seasonality, ano pa yung ma-observe mo? What's happening to our time series here? Um, my marag trend ata siya, sir. Overall, Very good. ayaw ang lowest points kaya nag-increase. Very good. So, aside sa doon sa seasonality, meron pang kinatawag tayo na trend. So, pag, pag sinabi natin trend, Carmela, ano ba ibig sabihin ng trend? Uh, parang may matrace na increase or decrease over time. Correct. So, trend is just kung may increase ba or decrease over time. So, makikita ninyo parang tumataas yung ating time series. Although, syempre, meron pa rin taas, baba, taas, baba. Pero, you can basically, kung i-ignore mo yung mga seasonality dyan, taas, baba, taas, baba, you can definitely draw a straight line na pa-increase. So, merong trend. No? Yan yung kasi yung usual na mga karakteristik na titignan natin sa time series. Mayroong seasonality, tsaka merong trend. It's either increasing or decreasing. Meron din mga time series na horizontal ang trend. So meaning, hindi siya nag-increase, hindi na nag-decrease, pero meron pa rin yung seasonality. Correct. Very good. Ay, nagbasa pala talaga si Carmela sa ating book. Okay. So how do we look at now kung ang ating data Without no, without uh, using time plot, but using seasonal plot. Kung merong bang seasonality ang ating data, we can use that. Uh, we can use the seasonal plot. So, paano tayo gagawa ng seasonal plot? Very simple. Type lang kayo ng G season plot. Then type A10. Okay. But you have to be careful, ah, sa kasi sa data natin iba yung A10, ah. Unlike dito na maraming variables, marami siyang columns. So here you need to specify the column kung ano yung igagraph nyo. Pero itong A10 kasi isa lang ang kanya. Ano lang siya, time series lang talaga. Okay? Hindi, wala siyang maraming column. So these observations just ano, um, tells you the sale for that month and for that year. Nothing more, nothing less. So how do we graph it using seasonal plot? So ito yung natawag natin, seasonal plot. A10, year labels, true. Pwede nyo rin sabihin, year labels, left is true. Then y lab gg title okay. So we'll run this. Ngayon natin. Yan. So, ang paano siya? Ano siya? So this actually, itong mga line na dito, 2007. Ito yung graph over the over that year. So, yung x-axis niya ay yung mga months. January, February. So ito, ito yung sale niya over that year. Okay? So kaya marami siyang parang line plots. Marami. is because taga year, ginagraph niya against the month. Okay? So dito pala, makikita na natin na meron siyang, kung wala kasi seasonality, straight line yan siya. No? Or walang pattern. Pero makikita natin na During January or the start of January or at the end of December, nag-i-increase yung sale. And then nag-start lang siyang decrease at the start of January. So itong pattern na ito na na-observe natin will tell us na merong seasonality sa ating data. 
dito din sa February. So para siyang nagbe-bend, halos lahat ng graph nagbe-bend siya sa February. Maganda din dito, nakikita din natin na nag-i-increase. Ah? Nag-i-increase. Nag-i-increase ang, kasi millions to eh. No? Nag-i-increase siya over the years. So ito is also an indication of trend. Right? So yan ang ating seasonal plot. Okay, sir, aside sa seasonal plot, meron pa bang iba? Meron. Ito yung seasonal plot pa rin, pero we plot it using the polar coordinates. So, instead of using this, we can just use polar equals to. Yeah. Then, becomes a polar. So, makikita pa rin doon yung pattern na mataas siya during January, uh, at the start of January, then nagbaba, pero kaunti siya during February. Okay? So, using that information, or by just looking at this plot, we can say na merong seasonality. And marami pa yan siyang mga um, other, I will just share to you this, ano, itong ginawa kong R code. And then you can look at, or you, you read a book, and doon yung ibang mga types of plot, and how do you plot them using R. Okay? Okay. Aside from looking at Ito kasi single variable lang yan sila eh, no? Kanina. Ang isa ding useful way to look at time series, and if you're interested in looking at relationship between variables, is to look at the scatter plots. Okay? So sir, paano ba yan mag-plot muna using, uh, but, but before scatter plot, okay, paano natin siya muna ma- kita for example yung example natin kanina sa sa Melbourne Sydney na ano flight data no ang ginawa natin is we plot them one by one dito but we can also huh? we can also look at simultaneously in just one graph or one display yung different graphs paano yan gagawin so very simple you'll just use auto plot from kanina no Then maybe remove that and then use facet. True. Okay. Kung facet's true, tignan natin kung ano mangyari. Isang plot na lang ito. Yeah? So makikita niyo na dito. Ay! Wala, tama nga, sir, no? Between 19, middle of 1989 or second half of 1989, 1989, nagbaba. Pero napansin din namin doon na during naman ditong first half na 1992, nagbaba ang economic class pero nag-increase ang first chart of business class. So that's how you look at or how to graph it simultaneously on the same ano, view or display. Okay? So just set facets equals true. And if this data has many variables or more than two or more than one variable or more than two um, group of observations, then you can use facets true. Okay, let's have another example. Let's try to look at a to look at a half hourly electricity demand. It was a data for it. So overlay elect demand in data. 
Tingnan muna natin ano ba yung nasa elect demand. No, it's always prudent to look up muna kung ano yung laman ng data no. Okay. Ay sir, ano pala talaga siya sir oh? Uh, maraming variable. Hindi natin so it's also a multi ay. Mm, uh, wag mo multi. Um mayroong demand at temperature. Now sir, we want to see on the same figures or no? Because bakit? Bakit interesting? Because this is electric electricity demand. So gusto natin malaman whether the temperature sorts of affect the consumption of electricity of the household. I do it through ito for us because kung mainit kasi, mag-uuntay ng aircon. Pag mag-uuntay ng aircon, ano nangyayari? Ang aircon ay malakas sa consumption ng electricity. Kaya it could be that these two are related. Paano natin yan siya ma-prove? Titinan natin yung plot simultaneously ng temperature tsaka demand. Huwag muna natin tingnan itong work din. Hindi naman siya relevant. Okay? Sabi lang yan dyan kung work day ba siya o not. Okay? So electrical demand. So hindi natin gagamitin lahat. So i-slice natin ating data. Okay? Gamitin natin si C. Kama, facets, don't forget that, para mag-graph siya simultaneously. And don't forget the title. Okay. Then plot natin. Yes. So makita nyo na pag magtaas yung temperature, nagtataas din ang demand. Pag bumababa, I mean, pag bumababa ang temperature, bumababa din. So meron silang sort of relationship. Okay? Same thing. Okay, mayroon mayroon yata ng year dito na relatively slow. Slower. Okay? So that's how you look at. It. But 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 this is this are still time plots, okay? Ang ginawa lang natin dito ay ni-display lang natin siya in one ano, in one view, no? But if we want to really investigate the relationship between different variables, ang mas magandang plot is yung tinatawag nating scatter plot. Okay? Kasi using scatter plot, makikita natin whether, kung mayroon ba talaga relationship. So, ang relationship could either be directly proportional, meaning an increase in temperature, does it imply an increase in the demand for electricity? Or whether an increase in temperature leads to the Decrease. Parang yun yung tawag inverse naman yun. Okay? So tingnan natin ngayon ang scatter plot. Paano, so, paano ba yan i-scatter plot dito sa R? Now, it's very simple. You just use the usual graph which is Q plot or GG plot. Okay? So type nyo lang dyan temperature, demand, the data. Of course, you need to provide a data frame. No? So hindi pwede na ito yung ibibigay mo kasi this is not a data frame. Kasi iba yung, iba yung TS object, iba yung data frame objects are. So how do you convert it? You just write as data frame, select demand, 
And then, of course, you can start now labeling. Demand. Tingnan natin, tingnan natin ang ating graph. Ano mayayari dyan? Oh, lala, ang ganda ng graph. Parang sigarilyo, ah, uh, ano ba to? Pipe. Pipe ni Popeye. Anyway, nakita natin na yung temperature, kung siya ang inuna mo, yeah, siya ang magiging x-axis. Ang y naman ay yung second, which is the demand. Okay. So, it meron tayo magkikita ng sort of pattern, di ba? Na pag mag-increase ang temperature, nag increase din ang demand. Pero somewhere between here, hindi masyadong nababago. Okay? Hindi masyadong nababa. And this is Australia. no? It could be different for colder countries. Kasi pag nag-decrease yung temperature, nag increase sila. Why? Because they use heater naman instead of, ano, instead of the electricity no but at a certain temperature well di masyado no between 10 to 20 pero pag after 20 na medyo nagpapakita na siya ng increase maybe we can fit a regression line here di masyadong perfect but it will capture most of the variability okay so that's how you draw a scatter plot in r Yeah? Now, sabihin nyo, Sir, paano naman kung marami ng, marami ng variable ang gusto na-compare? Ah, hindi natin pwede magamit ng scatter plot. Meron din scatter plot for 3D. Pero mas useful yung ating ginawa kanina na plotting them simultaneously. No? And then, pero ang mangyari pa rin, Okay, sir, gusto namin talaga makita talaga. Gusto namin talaga makita yan. Yes, pwede. You can do that. We can plot scatter plots. Group of scatter plots. So maraming scatter plot sa isang plot. Ay, paano yan gagawin? Very simple. Very simple. Gagamitin natin yung ggpairs. Paano yan titignan? Tignan natin kung magamit natin itong GGPairs without. So yung gagamitin natin na data dito is yung visitors at night. No? For, for, for some regions in uh, New South Wales, Australia. Sino ba dito nakapunta na ng Australia? Yes, in Ulada. Saan sa Australia? Ay, hindi ba pala? Sige. Well, ako, pupunta ako ng Australia. Hindi ko lang sabihin when. Kasi baka sundan nyo ako. Anyway, tingnan natin itong GG Pairs. Hala. Hmm. Kailangan ng library. Pag itong mga error, means that could be hindi loaded yung library. Okay? So, anong library yan? Yun yung GG Ali. <coughs> ah, hindi pa nga na-install. So, install ko muna. Then, once na-install na, yan tingin yung library. Okay. Hala. Pigs. Say pigs. GPS. Yes. And then, we got the 
scatter plot for each pair of variable. And then pinapakita din dito yung histogram ng variable na yun. So makikita nyo itong NS Metro medyo bell-shaped. Pero itong NSWN ko, tsaka NSW Southwest yan siya. Yeah. Southwest. Okay. Medyo multimodal. Mayroong dalawang peaks. So, dyan pala makikita nyo na kung ano yung mga values. And of course, the histogram. Ah, the histogram. The scatter plot for each pair. Okay? So, that's how you look at the graph. Okay? And then, meron tayong last plot, yung tinatawag natin na lag plots. Okay? Saan ito magagamit ang lag plots? Actually, magagamit natin later yan because we will be looking at kung meron bang autocorrelation. Ano ba yung autocorrelation? Yan, nabasa na yan. yan. Ano nga yung autocorrelation? Let's have... Charisse. Charisse. Ala, lumayas na agad. Out agad. Okay. Um, si Dathlin na lang. Dathlin. Ano nga yung autocorrelation based doon sa past or nabasa mo sa book? Yeah? Yeah? Correlation. Diyan ba si Dathlin? Hello, sir. Yes. Natulog ka, Dathlin? Natulog ka? Hindi, sir. Putol-putol dyan. Light, mawala na. Ay. Ah, unsa to, sir? Unsa kay auto-correlation? Okay, so, auto- Ay, correlation, sir? Auto-correlation? Auto, yes. Based on PowerPoint, sir, guys. Um, it is the same with correlation, but the difference, yes. guy, we use two variables where we compute it from the original observations and lag observations. Ang unsa man na? Ang correlation? The correlation. Yes. So actually, the name itself speaks for for its uh, ano ba siya? No, it speaks for its nature. Pag sinabi natin correlation, tama yung sinabi ni Dandli, no? So, we are actually comparing two variables. Correlation. No? Pairwise correlation. Meron din actually yung mga ibang measure aside from correlation that measures relationship. But of course, correlation measures relationship between two variables. Nandun naman yan sa step B. Pero ang auto, pag sinabi kasi auto, na ibig sabihin ng auto, On yourself. Ah? So, pag, parang autobiography. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng bio, autobiography? Biography is about life of someone. No? So, pag sinabi natin auto, it means it's written by the person, it's written by the person who is writing the biography. Or the subject of the biography. Same thing with autocorrelation. It's actually a correlation to itself. So, paano yan? <laughs> Bakit natin i-measure yung autocorrelation, correlation sa self? Of course, mag-correlate. But in time series, we're actually not directly computing the correlation between the, between the observation itself. But we are computing the correlation between lags. So, is it correlated from the previous three observations? So, meron ba siyang relationship? Yan yung kinukumputa natin ng auto-relation. Because, for example, for example, sa seasonality, makita natin na every December yung sales nag-increase. Of course, yung correlation ng every December should be high. It's because nag-increase. Pwede din natin tingnan, ah, meron ba relationship ang December tsaka February? Could be na inverse eh. 
pag nagde-decrease ang February nag-increase ang ano. So that's looking at yung correlation of lag values, lag values yan siya. Not on the correlate on the observations itself, but on the lag values of the observations. Yeah, so yan yung auto correlation. That's why the formula makes use of the same observation pero ina-adjust siya depende kung ano yung lag na gagamitin. Yeah? So, one important graph for that is yung tinatawag natin na lag plots. So, ano ba yung lag plots? Very simple. It's actually just a plot of the lag values. Lag values. Okay? So, titignan natin itong Tignan mo natin itong beer. No? beer. So, bago tayo mag-lag, tignan muna natin yung time series niya. Yeah. Ito namang beer is consumption ng beer. Hmm, kaunti naman pala ito. Ay, na nakahead pala. Okay, so quarterly siya. And then, tingnan natin kung gaano siya kalitlong. Quarterly from 2000, uh, 1956 to 2010. Tingnan natin ha, kung quarterly. GG title, lagyan natin ng year. X lab year thousands. Well, I don't know kung thousands ba yan siya. Could be thousand. Matabi natin that is the consumption. Okay. Kita niyo yung consumption. Nag-increase 10 to 56. Pero mayroon tayong makikita ang sort of seasonality dito, no? Kasi mag-increase, decrease, increase, decrease. Dito lang parang nag-may trend tapos biglang nag-stabilize or biglang naging horizontal. Okay? Let's look at now kung quarterly siya. Let's look at now kung ano yung lag plot niya kung ano, for several lags. Okay? So ang gagawin natin na gagamitin natin na function is yung GG lag plot. Okay? So gear 2, the graph natin. Okay. So this is our lag plot. So ang yung sabihin ng lag, so for example, no, if this is our time series, for example lang, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when we are computing the lag, uh, minus 1 lag, the lag 1, then we are actually computing the correlation of 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? And this is what it's shown here. Okay? So for for quarters, tinitingnan natin siya kung meron bang ano yung lag. Ha? So mapansin natin if they fall on straight line usually yan yung mga lag na interesting. So di ba ang correlation autocorrelation mag specify ka man kung anong klaseng autocorrelation whether lag 1 ba 2, 3, 4 magkikita mo dito itong lag 4 tsaka itong lag 8 ito yung mga could be interesting na kumpyuta ng autocorrelation. Yan? Yeah? Okay, so I'll just share to you this, ano, itong ginawa kong, ano, our tutorial on time graphics. And then next time, next meeting, we will discuss how to do. I will also send you the link to my videos doon sa Canvas. Okay, so I think okay na tayo. And then thank you for your, ano, kasi to 27, mag-lunch muna ako. Thank you for your ano, attention and then 
same thing, I will have this type of ano, consultation lecture, but it's not compulsory. Okay? And this will be recorded uh, for later viewing. Thank you and have a nice day, everyone. Bye.